Hey you guys, Jared Bingle here with Lawn Rescue. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you're returning, go ahead and hit the like button and comment down below so I know what kind of content to put out. Today we're gonna to be going over some calculations and also we've got an, that application to do afterwards. And at the end of the video, I've got a special treat for you guys, so stick around. For the spray application today, we've got four different products. We've got Celsius on the left, we've got our surfactant for our Celsius, and then we've got RGS and Brant's fertilizer. I've already got the math figured out and I'm just gonna go over it with you guys real quick. So starting off, we have a 6,000 square foot area to cover. We can do 1,000 square feet per minute and our output at the nozzle is 2.75 gallons per minute. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to figure out how long it's going to take us to do the application and how much water we're going to need for our tank. So we do that by taking the 6,000 square foot area, we divide it by how much area we can cover in one minute, and that gives us six minutes to do the entire application. Next, we take the six minutes and we multiply that by the 2.75 gallons per minute at the nozzle, and that'll give us 16 and a half gallons that we're going to take to do the application. The last bit of math is to figure out how much volume of each chemical to put in the tank. So we've got Celsius wettable granule. It is applied at a rate of 0.085 ounces per thousand square feet. Now this does vary depending on your target pest, but this is what we're going with since we want to target especially tall fescue in the lawn. And we're going to take the 0.085 ounces per gallon and we're going to multiply that times our 6,000 square feet air coverage area and that'll give us 0.051 ounces. The RGS is applied at a rate of 3 ounces per thousand square feet. We've got 6,000 square feet and so we'll need to put 18 ounces of the RGS in the tank mixture. Next up we have our Brant liquid fertilizer. It's a 1836 NPK. It's applied at a rate of 4 ounces per thousand square feet. Multiply that by the 6,000 square foot coverage area, and that'll give us 24 ounces we need to put in our tank mixture. So our surfactant, and don't mind the scribble down here, I switched everything and had to cross it out. But it's applied at a rate of 1 ounce per gallon, and we're going to multiply that by the 16 and a half gallons that we're going to put in the tank. And that's going to give us 16 and a half ounces that needs to go in our tank mixture. So since I can't get my camera to focus on the numbers, you're just going to have to trust me on this one. But we're going to do the 0.51 ounces for on our Celsius. And we've got a bit too much, so we'll pour some back in. Still too much. And that'll be just about right. So this part's going to be a little loud since we're putting in our Celsius wettable granule. It needs to be mixed as we put it in and also as we put the other products in. So now that our Celsius is in there and it's been mixed up for about five minutes, we're going to add our fertilizer. So remember, we're going to pour this in and then we're going to rinse it out. Our wettable granule and our fertilizer is in there, so we're going to add our RGS. Now the last bit of our mixture is our 16 and a half ounces of our surfactant.
So quick update, about eight days ago I put a video out showing some spots in the lawn to where I put down some Celsius herbicide to get rid of some grassy weeds and it's starting to fill in really nicely. So here's that spot from the last video. You can see that the grassy weeds have died off and the Bermuda's starting to fill in and take over. Oh, hey there little guy, it's time for you to go. So there's a time and a place for chemicals, but when you can hand weed, I definitely recommend that you do that over chemicals when you can. Check out all this new growth we got going on in the Bermuda here. So I'm sure you guys are wondering how I got the grass to grow so quickly and so green. And the answer to that is the liquid fertilizer and the root growth stimulator. Also in the video about two weeks ago, you could tell that this strip right here by the driveway was all brown and dead. So this strip right here that was dead about two to three weeks ago, a little bit further up the driveway is starting to fill in, but it's got some foot traffic, so it's gonna take longer for it to do that. So long story short, today's Monday. My brother called me up Friday when I was gonna make this YouTube video. He said, hey, I'm going out to the range. You wanna go shooting? I said, hey, we live in South Kakalaki. Of course I do. Once I got off the phone with him, I packed everything up, headed out to Spartanburg. We went shooting and popped off a few rounds. Oh. And a little side note, because I don't get out to the range as much as I'd like to, forgive my posture on some of these. He's about my age, so... He, he wants one. He wants one. God almighty. This thing is sick. Well, I got it close. Just got finished up out of the Thomason DNR range out in Spartanburg, South Carolina. We got to shoot a bunch of different stuff from 223, 5.56, 9mm, shotgun, 308. Really nice range, probably the nicest DNR range that I've been to personally. I don't get out to the range as much as I'd like to, but when I do, I like to shoot everything. As always, I want to thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.